that guy, that daughter, that son, living it up and having fun in the Vegas sun, that Vegas vibe with those guys. That Vegas vibe is filmed before a live studio audience. Right, guys we are at New York New York and it is crazy busy go this way In 1952, a gentleman named Mel D. Close bought 160 acres of land to build the Desert Rose Motel as well as the Lone Palm Hotel and Trailer Court. This partial would also become home to the Roadway Inn in 1965, as well as a Chevron gas station and a Husky's gas station. With the establishment of the Tropicana across the street and later the MGM Grand and Excalibur properties, a $400 million city-themed vision began to rise out of the desert on the very same property. This state-of-the-art facility would include a replica of the Statue of Liberty and a 200-foot high roller coaster, declared by the former New York City Mayor Ed Koch as the center of the universe. It opened in 1997. The New York New York Hotel and Casino would employ 2,100 people and occupy only 18 acres of that land. Well, we made it to Vegas. Tonight we're staying at New York, New York. And we got a Two Queen Park Avenue strip view. So it's the basic room, but it does have a strip view. So we're gonna take a tour, let you guys know kind of what we think right now. So two queen beds, just basic sign. I will say you only get two pillows per bed. I did call downstairs to see if we could get two additional pillows because that guy likes his extra pillows. So hopefully we'll get those tonight. The nice thing about this room is it is a corner suite. And we have a great view for this hotel. Um, so if you look out here, the roller coaster is getting ready to go by. We get to see the roller coaster, which is going to be even better at night. We get to see the strip. So that's, that's a pretty good view for New York, New York. Um, I will say the windows are short, so you can't lay in bed and watch and look out your window and see anything. You're just gonna see the wall. So that's kind of a bummer. I wish they would just, when they designed these older hotels, they didn't, I don't think they thought about the fact that people would wanna see the strip. So the windows in some of the older hotels are small. So that Vegas vibe with those guys, we're about the view. We would rather have a smaller room with an amazing strip view as opposed to a little bit bigger room with no view. That's our thing. So, you know, this is okay. We knew we weren't gonna have an amazing view because we've stayed here before. The room is date, very dated. They need to remodel it. Me and that guy, our very first Vegas trip, we stayed here at New York, New York, and we fell in love. Couldn't wait to come back. And unfortunately, since we've been coming back to Vegas, the quality here has gone down. They really need to remodel. You got where you can put your luggage out. And that's all stuffed over here. We've got wallpaper peeling. Um, the windows are dirty. I noticed that as well. It's not dirty, like dis disgusting. Like I can't sleep here tonight, but I don't know that I would come back. Bathroom, super small, which we knew. It's a small room. Okay, so shower, you know, basic. But the problem is it's kind of dirty in areas just from over time. I don't, I think they cleaned the room, but just over time it needs to be taken care of. It's just not great. And then the door is broken. So hopefully nobody really, oh, I guess we can slide it, but it's broken, it's off the track. Little mirror does work. I was shocked, I didn't think it was going to. So overall, it's okay. I'm not gonna call down and complain because I know they're busy tonight. Um, and I don't think there's going to be anything better here because they do just need to really refurbish it. New York, New York, give us back our rooms like they used to be. We need to party, do some fun stuff tonight, 
kids are going to try to get on the roller coaster, play some arcade games, and then we'll have some that Vegas vibe with those guys after dark. I will say this room, I used my My Vegas game app. I got it for $89 plus resort fees and all of that, so it was about $149. And we decided Thursday night we were going to. Saturday right now we decided Thursday night we're gonna go up a day early for our trip so there wasn't a lot of cheaper options but with my Vegas app this was the cheapest room I could find when I looked just to see what the room was going for for if you didn't have the my Vegas app it was 180 so I got it for half price so we're just gonna have to try to have some fun tonight and we'll take you along with us show you some fun things that we like to do in Vegas I love their food court area because you feel like you're walking the streets of New York. You got a deli, you got a burger bar down there, fish and chips, Mexican restaurant, Green Witch, probably saying that wrong, that Village Coffee Company. So if you don't want Starbucks, you can come get your coffee here. And we have lots of yummy looking breakfast options. Gallagher's, that guy dreams of those steaks. So hey, you want to see that guy eat a Gallagher steak? Send him some money. Because they are pricey. And they're aged. Syracuse. The pizza place. They're not quite open yet. Let's see what their hours are. Yeah, they open at 11. It was good, guys. We got two meatball sandwiches. Never disappoints. 8.50 for a big meatball sandwich. Um, I only ate the meatballs and the cheese to keep it low carb. But for sure, I couldn't even finish one of the meatballs. So it was really good. Alright guys, okay, so we're going to go upstairs so I can show you the little part that's upstairs. Alright, here we are upstairs in New York, New York, nice Adidas shops, you got a cute little shop here, found some good things there, here's upstairs for Hershey. pretzel place. Always check up upstairs if it's busy downstairs at Hershey World, guys. Okay, so if you go out of these doors, there's a walkway straight over to MGM. We're not going to do that because we got to get going here. Oh, Hershey S'mores. Definitely not low carb. Definitely need to try that sometimes. So. This is the kiosk. Um, for Starbucks it's upstairs they look like they're closed right now so maybe that's why the downstairs one was so busy there is a pizzeria up here pizza's okay it's a little more pricey than um, downstairs the, what we had last night and it's just not as good I definitely do the downstairs one. Oh my goodness okay guys I'm sad this shop here used to be the magic shop and the last time we came, we saw it closed. And now they just put their crystal shop in there. That's a bummer. And this used to be, over here, a place where you could get your picture taken with like some shirtless cowboys. Now it's virtual reality. We've got Coyote Ugly over here. It is open back up. Looks like a lot of fun if you're into the club scene. Um, I've seen mixed reviews on it. it. Looks like it'd be a fun time, though. We've got Hog and Doss, not open right now. You can get a temporary tattoo. I suggest getting a real one. Um, I think Hog and Doss has been open last time we were here. It was. Got a little Nathan stand. Get some oxygen. Hey guys, and if you go out here, we're not going to do this today, we'll do it a different day. 
you gotta get down the stairs. But if you go here, straight across, gets you to Excalibur, gets you to Luxor, and gets you to, um, then you can get over to Mandalay Bay. Ooh, we got some sales going on. I love these little shops. And there's one over at Excalibur as well. Love to pick up some little t-shirts to wear around the house. All right guys, so that's the top section of New York, New York. Okay, so here's the New York, New York pool. It's 10 a.m., they open at 9. It was a small pool, guys. Um, no complaints about it, it's just this is their only pool. I would suggest any pool you're going to right now during summertime, get down there early, because they're filling up quickly. But the cool thing about this pool is the roller coaster goes right over you. So, but it's pretty cool to be in the pool and watch the roller coaster go by. They do have a bar over there to get your drinks. Looks like they've got a few cabanas you can rent, not many. I'm assuming those blue chairs over there are reserved and rent. Cabanas over there. Oh, there it goes. There it goes the roller coaster. So that'd be pretty cool getting your son watching the roller coaster. So we're gonna wait till our we get to our next hotel to check out that pool instead. But I just want to give you guys a look at this pool. Well, our stay at New York, New York is just about over. Still a really nice view. So here are my thoughts on New York, New York. Um, the rooms are really dated. They need some TLC, things like um, wallpaper, peeling, really old light switches we saw. Um, you know some things that could be a little bit cleaner it's not disgusting um, we still felt we could stay here so um, would we stay again if the room was free and it was just adding on to our trip we would consider staying we might try the stay well rooms next time because those have been renovated the most recent the check-in process was pretty easy there's great restaurants here to eat you're kind of on this since you're down on the south side of the strip there's a lot of things to do. You've got the arcade, you've got the roller coaster. When you go down the elevator, you're right in the casino. Casino is smaller. I never seem to do well here, but there's definitely lots of things to do. I could see why families would want to stay here. You've got that arcade, the roller coaster across the street, you got Coke and M&M. So um, rooms, not the best, but not the worst. So those are our thoughts, and we're going to pack up and move on to our next hotel for the trip. See you guys soon.